certain risk I took doing f- fuckery, yeah, yeah. but playing to throw myself like just <laughs> no to throw myself down a plane. Nah, I love nah. tobogganing. Man. So she got the sleds yesterday and they went down a little hill. You know that was cool. Yeah, they they love that too. They love it. Kids so that's why you just play with it, play them in the snow. Yeah, playing in the snow, you just. He likes to watch the snow happen. He likes to throw it in the air. Isn't and, it beautiful know? to watch life through their eyes and look at what you for so many years have Skip forgotten? Over. And yep. just that's why they say it's important to be childlike, but not childish. It brings me back to like because my son spends a lot of time at my grandmother's house. So and my grandma keeps everything. And there's all the toys in there are all my old toys. Oh, so sick. there's stuff that he's playing with that is like from the 90s that I got. That's like, you know. Some of those things will become family heirlooms. Yeah, all down to the pot that I heat up his milk in is the pot that we used to get our milk heated up in. Because my grandma doesn't throw away things. She what? takes care of her stuff. Yo, no. that's it wasn't until sick. one day I was, because, I was, you know, it's just a pot that you warm up stuff in. And one day I'm there doing it. I'm like, wait. This is the this pot. This is the same thing. Bill had this. You know? It's, like, it's <laughs> That's trippy, crazy. you know. So That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, so now after Stigmata came, uh, you dropped that, which was, you know what I mean, well received. And then um, Orphan Black it took you, what, four years to drop? Yeah. You're yeah. working on that. Yeah. In between that, you're producing, dropping little features here and there. Yeah. Doing yeah. your little thing, right? You're mm-hmm, still doing mm-hmm. your thing. Uh, what year was it that, that we ran into you that I said uh, that? That was probably right when Stigmata dropped or yeah, around it, yeah, so 2014. Yeah, yeah. I was just, yeah, we were just talking about how when I first really got into his music was 2014. You would do, he was doing a show, he was opening for J. Cole. And I was with Raz Fresco, you know, doing some stuff with him. And that's when I actually met my, my homie, Dayton, my cameraman. He was there. He lived around the corner because it was J. Cole head. So it's crazy. And you know, I remember it. That show, you had issues with your DJ had issues. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But you saved it being a professional. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember it. I'm like, yo, this man held it down. You know what I mean? So that's how I, that's how I knew. I was like, okay. And you know, the only reason, well, I guess I should say it for the people that are listening, is that I almost got booed off the stage because my DJ was having technical difficulties. People wanted J. Cole to come out, so they were restless. Mm-hmm. So they start booing and saying bring out J. Cole yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. while the technical, technical difficulties, difficulties are going cause that what people don't realize is like yo like the show must go on mm-hmm. you can't really have technical difficulty when, when these people are right there you can't be like yo hold on yeah people are not like that not and like I remembered that. that it happened to me back in the day in like 2010 2011 I was doing like some little show at like a weed cafe and like we had technical difficulties and when I came off stage we got it together but when I came off stage one of the men said yo cause they were in the crowd they said yo you should have just been an acapella and I remembered that. I said, if that ever happens to me again, I'm spinning spit a cappella. And it happened to me once before that time at J. Cole, but it wasn't even as severe. But then it happened to me on that day, and I felt the booing starting. You know, two men are booing, two buddies that came together. And then someone <laughs> hears it on that side, and they start so and started beating. You know what I'm saying? I started getting, that's family. And, and that's one thing as an artist you got to do. Like, yeah, like when you're on the spot, when things don't go as planned, fam. And it was humbling, because totally, yeah. to me, I'm too sick of a man for you to boo me. You know, it's like when Drake went, when Drake went to that thing the other day and they booed him and bare people are saying, "How are you gonna boo Drake? He's done." Blah, blah, blah. Which, like, people are gonna. Oh, what Drake that was, said, it was in his crowd, right? And what Drake said, I don't know what he was doing there. What Drake said is what I learned from that experience, which is like, bro, it doesn't matter how good you actually are. You're only as good as you are that night, or maybe it's those people don't want to see what you can do, mm-hmm. and he's fine with that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and it's that's their what choice. I have to, yeah, it's their choice. You know. So it was kind of humbling because I'm like, bro, anyone could get it. When, I, when it was happening to me, that's how I felt because I, I feel like I'm too sick for you to be, you know? So, <laughs> so after that, I start spitting the acapella yeah, yeah. and I get it back. But guess what happens? When that performance ended, you know what, how it ended in? They're calling for an encore. So I went from about to get booed. I remember. To I remember. Bring him back, bring him back because they cut my, sh- my I remember. Thing short for swearing, I remember. You know? I've been kicked off hella stages for swearing. He has footage. He's going to send it to me. And as we're talking right now, I'm showing them the sick, footage. Sick, yo. sick, you know sick. Yeah. Sick. I'm showing them footage. You know what I mean? It's crazy, yo. But yeah, so Orphan Black is a new project. When did that drop? July 26th. Okay. 27th? July 27th? Yeah. I think you're wrong still. I think it's, think it's 26. <laughs> Check it for me, please. 
So yeah, uh, so that dropped, and the first single was hockey, right? Yes, the first single was hockey. Yeah. It was dope. To, uh, that I told you that was a respect, respect. That, you know, I mean, cinematic and whatnot. Because me and me and him do music videos too. We shoot music videos, so you know, I'm always into watching it. So even when you said stick matter, people don't understand. Like, I didn't the stick matter. I'm like looking at the picture. I'm like. Is that, a re- is that a shot or did the man draw, like, is that a graphic thing? You know no, what I'm no, talking yeah, about? Yeah, that was a real shot. That looks sad. Yeah. Even if e- you have a chance to 26. watch that video, at, 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 at the end of the video, there's that closing scene. I'm like, that looks so serene. Yo, even the colors that day, we didn't do much post. Where was that? To edit Where did that. You that was in Calabasas, in Cali. Fuck. Yeah. It looks like we're in the it, middle of like. It looks dope, you know? know. Like it looks Arabic or something. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. It looks dope, but it's funny man. while I'm shooting, people are on the set because we had a big set and trailers and everything it was a sick. Okay, video. big tie. And I remember <laughs> people on the set are telling me, "Yo, so that's the Kardashian house. That's Justin Bieber owns that house. That's." So they're man, they're waking up to like, that every day to that view, like that skyline. The way the sky looked looks what's so doing sick. What's doing back to the colors? Because what we did was we did like a. We didn't do much post for colors. We did a like a inversion of temperature kind mm. of thing. That's why when you see me there, the trees are like a weird he does purple that. kind of. He does that. He, so does that. he probably knows he what I'm talking about. He does that when we edit. Yeah. So, but what made the colors so rich that day when the sun was setting, because that was the real sunset, was it's all the dust coming from how dry it is and... That desert kind of terrain, right? Don't mind us. This is just the inner nerd talking right now because <laughs> we get into this technical of, yeah, of, this, yeah. of this music thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, I was just when I seen the video, I'm like, I'm gonna ask him, yo, because that looks too sick. Did, and is that graphic? Because that looks too that's sick. It, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm so proud of it, bro. Because like a man has to ask that question. You know, so, that looks too sick. Big bro. up Andy Hines. He he directed that. Okay, so yeah, Alpha Black drop. Blue Water, I don't know if he, that's my favorite track. It's a whole bunch of tracks Respect. on it. Like, I go ham, you know what I mean? Listen to your shit, yo. Like, Respect, bro. I, I, I can't go to the gym listen to your shit because I might, I can't keep up. I might fuck my shit up. I'm trying to fucking work out hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go too fast. Yeah. Get an injury. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to keep up with Trey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yo, straight. But yeah, the album goes hard, yo. Thank you, bro. What's your favorite track on the album? My favorite track on there is probably make a move which one did which one do you do you feel that you're getting the most that's well received out there that you'd like well they're just like yo honestly aside from the like hockey is the one that i'll get more because it got playlisted on spot you know mm-hmm. but the one that the people really tell me they love the two is blue water that you said you mm-hmm. like people really they really fuck with that track you have a video yet for that no i don't have a video for don't that. mess around do it fam it's, that one is smooth sim sima with murky ace is the other one that people people love i see the chemistry with you and you that the, the, the man is still yo murky ace yo he's sick yo. yeah that's my dog bro that's yeah. like yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm. one of the people you linked out there yeah yeah that's bro that's like like my close touch, friend, touch on London and like how's life out there? Like you, you actually go out, stay out there. You be out there for a few months sometimes at a time. What's the most? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've, bro, I've basically been living there on and off since 2011. You know. Okay, okay. My son is born out there. Oh, your son lives out there? No, he lives here now. Oh, okay. okay. But he he's born out there and he lived there. Okay. You know, okay. He's now losing the accent and getting the. Okay. Getting is my his mom accent from out more. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, 